object is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled and it has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years, we don't know. A spine-chilling encounter has returned to haunt our world. Oumuamua, whose strange path puzzled scientists in 2017, is back, breaking all known laws of physics, zooming towards us with an eerie purpose, and stirring up a storm of questions in the scientific community. Is this a sign of an alien takeover or a quiet observer of our fragile planet? Are we on the brink of understanding or facing our end? Join us as we delve into scientists' warning of Oumuamua's direct impact in two weeks. It is not stopping. The interstellar mystery. Envision the term alien probes, and you might find yourself plunged into the realm of 1960s sci-fi abduction tales, where extraterrestrial surgeons wielded arcane instruments to probe and prod human subjects under the eerie glow of spacecraft lights. Alternatively, your mind might drift to the mysterious object known as Oumuamua, an interstellar wanderer that captured the imagination of astronomers and conspiracy theorists alike. Oumuamua, a rocky, cigar-shaped enigma tinged with a reddish hue, made its grand entrance into our solar system in 2017, becoming the first confirmed emissary from another star to grace our cosmic neighborhood. Its very name, Oumuamua, derived from Hawaiian, translates poetically as a messenger from afar arriving first, hinting at its cosmic significance. In the autumn of 2017, this cosmic nomad traversed the inner solar system, drawing attention not only for its peculiar shape, but also for its origin beyond our own sun's dominion. Dubbed one I slash Oumuamua by astronomers, the designation one I denoted its status as the inaugural interstellar interloper to be identified within our solar confines. The saga of Oumuamua began on October 19, 2017, when University of Hawaii astronomer Rob Warrick stumbled upon its fleeting presence in data captured by the Vigilant Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System. Initially spotted 21 million miles away, its trajectory brought it within a mere 15 million miles of Earth's vicinity, offering a tantalizingly close encounter with our celestial visitor. Yet, like a wisp of stardust in the night sky, Oumuamua swiftly slipped away, propelled to a velocity of 54.2 meters per second by a gravitational nudge from the sun. Its departure marked the conclusion of a brief but momentous visit, leaving scientists scrambling to glean whatever insights they could from its passing. The window to observe Oumuamua was fleeting, its diminutive size and rapid motion limiting our opportunity to unravel its cosmic secrets. Yet, in its wake, it left a lingering sense of wonder and speculation. As Oumuamua fades into the depths of space, leaving us with more questions than answers about what other mysteries lurk in the vast cosmos, waiting to be uncovered. Are we truly alone in the universe? Or is there something more waiting to be discovered? Let's find out. Probes across the cosmos. Probe technology has long fascinated humanity sparking our curiosity about the vast unknowns of space and the potential for life beyond our planet. Whether these marvels of engineering originate from distant galaxies or are crafted by our own hands, probes stand as emissaries of science, venturing into the cosmic void to unravel its mysteries. These intrepid explorers, equipped with an array of scientific instruments, serve as our eyes and ears in the unfathomable reaches of space. Transmitting data back to Earth via radio signals, they offer glimpses into worlds beyond our imagination, each probe tailored to study the unique environments it encounters. Since the dawn of the space age in the 1950s, humanity has launched a myriad of probes, each pushing the boundaries of our understanding further. Yet as we peer into the depths of the cosmos, the tantalizing prospect of contact with extraterrestrial civilizations looms on the horizon. Imagine the monumental task facing an alien civilization seeking to send a probe to Earth from the distant confines of the Andromeda Galaxy. With a journey spanning 2.5 million light-years, such an endeavor would test the limits of both distance and time. 
To return their probe to Earth before their civilization's demise, they would need to defy the cosmic speed limit, harnessing technologies beyond our current grasp. Could these advanced beings have unlocked the secrets of theoretical wormholes or warp drives, transcending the known laws of physics? The possibilities tantalize the imagination, sparking intense speculation among astronomers and physicists alike. Yet even if extraterrestrial engineers surmount the challenges of interstellar travel, formidable obstacles remain. Their probes must endure the harsh rigors of space, braving radiation and cosmic debris with unwavering resilience. Crafting materials capable of withstanding such extremes demands ingenuity and innovation, pushing the boundaries of material science to new frontiers. In the quest for toughness and durability, researchers strive to develop materials that defy conventional limits. Balancing hardness with resilience, these materials promise to revolutionize space exploration, paving the way for probes that withstand the rigors of cosmic voyages. Amidst these reflections on the wonders of space exploration, the enigmatic interstellar object Oumuamua emerges as a testament to the mysteries that lie beyond our grasp. Its elusive origins and peculiar trajectory captivate the scientific community, igniting debates and speculation about its true nature. The Second Visitor from the Stars after years of speculation, NASA's Associate Administrator for Science at the time of Oumuamua's discovery, Thomas Zerbushin, made a groundbreaking statement in 2017. He declared that they finally possessed concrete evidence of the existence of interstellar objects. Following this revelation, another interstellar wanderer, 2i Borisov, emerged onto the scene in August 2019. Originally named C-2019-Q4, 2i Borisov marked the first observed instance of a rogue comet and the second recorded interstellar intruder after Oumuamua. Its discovery was credited to Genady Borisov, a dedicated amateur astronomer and telescope maker from Crimea, on August 29, 2019. Unlike typical comets bound to the Sun, 2i Borisov boasts a heliocentric orbital eccentricity of 3.36, signifying its lack of allegiance to our solar system. It traversed the ecliptic of the solar system towards the end of October 2019 and reached its closest proximity to the Sun just over two astronomical units away on December 8, 2019. Notably, its closest encounter with Earth occurred on December 28, 2019. In November of the same year, astronomers from Yale University marveled at the comet's enormity, revealing that its tail spanned 14 times the size of our planet. They remarked on the profound, humbling experience of witnessing Earth's diminutive stature in comparison to this celestial visitor. In March 2020, observations unveiled the comet's fragmentation, a phenomenon further confirmed in April of that year. In contrast to Oumuamua, which stood out for its peculiar lack of a tail and coma, Borisov exhibited typical comet characteristics, adorned with both tail and coma, a gaseous envelope enveloping its icy core. While predictions of interstellar objects predated Oumuamua's discovery, it did not align with astronomers' expectations. Despite its odd shape, Oumuamua seemed to emit gases as it journeyed through space. The prevailing theories suggest the sublimation of hydrogen or nitrogen ice from distant solar systems. Interstellar objects are propelled into the cosmos by the gravitational forces of gas giants or colossal collisions that fragment protoplanets. Early assessments of 2i Borisov's nucleus diameter ranged from 1.4 to 16 kilometers. Unlike comets within our solar system, 2i Borisov underwent noticeable shrinkage during its passage through our solar system shedding at least 0.4% of its mass before perihelion. Additionally, the magnitude of non-gravitational acceleration sets an upper limit of 0.4 kilometers on its nucleus size, consistent with prior observations from the Hubble Space Telescope, which pegged the upper limit at 0.5 kilometers. Despite its proximity to Earth, which remained beyond 300 million kilometers, direct determination of its size and shape via radar was infeasible. Although occultation by a star could offer insights, predicting such an event required precise orbital calculations, and detection would demand a network of small telescopes, the Oumuamua, the Wanderer. As the inaugural interstellar visitor on record, Oumuamua offers a glimpse into the dynamics of planetary systems beyond our own. 
Its peculiar form adds another layer of intrigue to its discovery. Umuamua stretches up to a quarter mile in length, boasting an extraordinary elongated shape, potentially ten times longer than its width. Such proportions surpass any known asteroid or comet within our solar system. This elongation not only surprises but also promises fresh insights into the genesis of distant solar systems. Designated 1I-2017 U1 Umuamua, it entered the spotlight on October 19, 2017, thanks to the University of Hawaii's PanSTARRS-1 telescope, funded by NASA's Near-Earth Object Observations Program. Initially tagged as a comet, Subsequent observations after its slingshot maneuver passed the Sun on September 9, 2017, at an astounding velocity of 196,000 miles per hour, revealed no telltale signs of cometary activity. Reevaluation led to a temporary reclassification as an asteroid, until its slight acceleration hinted at comet like behavior. Initially resembling a colossal cylinder, Oumuamua appeared to be ten times longer than its width. However, subsequent refinements in measurements corrected this impression, portraying it more accurately as a flattened shape akin to a pancake. Notably, objects like the minor planet Arakoth, visited by NASA's New Horizons probe on New Year's Day 2019, exhibit similar forms in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune. Analysis of its light curve, tracing variations in brightness during its celestial journey, unveiled its dimensions and contours. When its broader side faced us, Oumuamua appeared brighter. This significant fluctuation in brightness points to its highly elongated nature, roughly ten times longer than it is wide, with intricate convoluted features, noted Meech. Moreover, its reddish hue, akin to outer solar system objects, coupled with its inert nature, devoid of any dust, signifies its dense composition, likely comprising rock and potentially metals, devoid of water or ice. Its surface's reddish tint suggests eons of irradiation from cosmic rays. These characteristics imply that Oumuamua has traversed the Milky Way for hundreds of millions of years, detached from any stellar system, before its serendipitous rendezvous with our own. Fighting Oumuamua's Home The specific stellar origin of Oumuamua remains a baffling enigma. However, in 2018, meticulous research unveiled a crucial clue about its journey. Tracing Oumuamua's path back to its origins revealed that approximately one million years ago, the object traversed in proximity to four stars, with the red dwarf star HIP 3757 being the closest encounter. This discovery raises the intriguing possibility that Oumuamua either originated from this stellar system or has been adrift in the vastness of space for an exceedingly long period. Unlike the orderly orbits of the planets, asteroids, and comets within our solar system, Oumuamua's trajectory stands out for its hyperbolic nature. This term denotes its high-speed approach towards the Sun, where the gravitational influence of our star could only minimally alter its course, preventing it from being captured into a circular orbit. Moving at an astonishing relative speed of 16.36%, as 23 million miles to our star, Oumuamua's journey originated from roughly the direction of Vega in the constellation Lyra. Moreover, its incoming motion deviates 6 degrees from the solar apex, the direction of the Sun's movement relative to local stars, aligning closely with the anticipated trajectory of objects originating from outside our solar system. Confirming its interstellar origin, astronomers solidified their conclusion by mid-November, after meticulously analyzing observations spanning 80 days. One of the most striking features of Oumuamua's orbit is its exceptional eccentricity, measured at 1.20, the highest ever recorded until the discovery of 2 i borisov in August 2019. Eccentricity exceeding 1.0 indicates that an object surpasses the Sun's escape velocity, suggesting its unbound trajectory towards interstellar space. While encounters with planets can yield eccentricity slightly above 1.0, Oumuamua's unprecedented eccentricity defies such explanations. Even hypothetical undiscovered planets within our solar system fail to account for their trajectory or the observed velocity boost. Hence, Oumuamua's characteristics unequivocally point to its interstellar origins, shrouding it in intrigue and speculation. By mid-November, 
astronomers were certain that it was an interstellar object. Based on observations spanning 80 days, Oumuamua's orbital eccentricity is 1.20, the highest ever observed until 2I Borisov was discovered in August 2019. An eccentricity exceeding 1.0 means an object exceeds the sun's escape velocity, is not bound to the solar system, and may escape to interstellar space. While an eccentricity slightly above 1.0 can be obtained by encounters with planets, as happened with the previous record holder C1980E1, Oumuamua's eccentricity is so high that it could not have been obtained through an encounter with any of the planets in the solar system. Even undiscovered planets in the solar system cannot account for Oumuamua's trajectory or boost its speed to the observed value. For these reasons, it can only be of interstellar origin. On the 26th of October, two precovery observations from the Catalina Sky Survey were found dated 14 and the 17th of October. A two-week observation arc verified a strongly hyperbolic trajectory. It has a hyperbolic excess velocity, velocity at infinity, of 26.33 kilometers per second, its speed relative to the sun when in interstellar space. Worldwide Telescope Quest Immediately following its discovery, astronomers mobilized telescopes worldwide, including the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile, to observe and analyze the newly spotted celestial visitor. The urgency was paramount, necessitating rapid data collection to ascertain crucial information about the object's orbit, luminosity, and spectral characteristics. Utilizing the FORCE instrument on the ESO telescope, astronomers, spearheaded by Karen Meech from the Institute for Astronomy in Hawaii, meticulously combined observations from various large telescopes. By employing four distinct filters, they meticulously studied Oumuamua's behavior, revealing a remarkable finding. Oumuamua exhibits an unprecedented brightness variation, fluctuating by a factor of 10 as it completes a rotation on its axis every 7.3 hours. This unique characteristic sets Oumuamua apart from any known solar system asteroid or comet, its elongated shape showcasing a ratio between length and width far exceeding any previously observed celestial body. Even as Oumuamua journeyed away from Earth, several prominent ground-based telescopes diligently tracked its trajectory. NASA's observations revealed Oumuamua hurtling through space at a staggering speed of approximately 85,700 miles per hour relative to the Sun. Its trajectory, angled approximately 20 degrees above the plane of the solar system's planetary orbits, let it beyond Mars's orbit around November 2018, with a projected passage through Jupiter's orbit in May 2018, culminating in an exit beyond Saturn's orbit by January 2019. As it ventures farther from our solar system, Oumuamua's trajectory points towards the constellation Pegasus. Among the instruments monitoring Oumuamua's journey, the Hubble Space Telescope stood out for its capability to observe the object for an extended period. By merging data from the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the Gemini South Telescope, astronomers captured detailed images of Oumuamua, revealing it as a minuscule speck against the vast expanse of space. Initial orbital calculations suggested Oumuamua originated from the direction of the bright star Vega in the Lyra constellation. However, due to the considerable time elapsed since Oumuamua embarked on its interstellar journey, Vega was not in proximity to Oumuamua's path approximately 300,000 years ago, despite Oumuamua's rapid speed of approximately 59,000 miles per hour. Astronomers speculate that interstellar objects akin to Oumuamua traverse the inner solar system roughly once a year, yet their faintness and elusive nature have rendered them undetected until now. Recent advancements in survey telescopes, such as PanSTARRS-1, have enhanced our capability to detect and study such interstellar visitors. Paul Chodas, manager of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, expressed profound fascination with the discovery, describing Oumuamua as an intriguing visitor from a distant star system, unlike any known object within our solar neighborhood. As Oumuamua swiftly traverses the Kuiper Belt, Beyond the observational reach of current telescopes, questions linger regarding the possibility of its return trajectory, or even the tantalizing prospect of it being an extraterrestrial probe. Origins, 
possibilities, and beyond. According to Bialy and Loeb's calculations based on the rates at which the object would encounter deep space fluxes and the concentration of gas and dust in the interstellar medium, the researchers calculated that Oumuamua could potentially travel at least 16,000 light-years from its home system, whichever that may be. The object's origin is still unknown. It should be noted that Bayali and Loeb do not assert in this analysis that Oumuamua is undeniably an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Nonetheless, they hold this possibility in high regard. Maybe it's an alien spacecraft that has landed on Earth by accident, or it may be a piece of space trash. According to the study, it could also be an active spacecraft that was sent here to examine our solar system. According to Loeb, there are arguments in favor of the second theory. For starters, Oumuamua's very discovery was something of an anomaly. If the visitor is a member of a random population, stumbling across it the way we did suggests that every star in the Milky Way ejects into interstellar space 1,000 trillion such objects over its lifetime, Loeb said. These numbers are based on calculations performed by Loeb and his colleagues a decade ago. Our solar system doesn't shed so many Oumuamua-like objects. Furthermore, the kinematic space called the local standard of rest, which includes our region of the Milky Way galaxy, nearly coincides with Oumuamua's motion. That is the reason why the object's system of origin has remained elusive. We will never be able to use conventional chemical rockets to catch up to Oumuamua as it cruises toward the outer solar system. That being said, we may get a close look at the object. Our ability to send small robotic probes equipped with sails hurtling toward Oumuamua at breakneck speeds could pave the way for a future voyage there. Launching such a vessel in the next few decades is the goal of projects like Breakthrough Starshot. It doesn't matter if we ever catch Oumuamua, but we can learn from its visit and be prepared for the next time anything like this travels through our area by conducting a full-scale observational blitz. The example provided by Oumuamua should also inspire astronomers to take a harder look at other intriguing objects that are in view right now. Oumuamua, like most comets, is rich in water. Before the comet entered the solar system, the extreme cold of deep space would cause the water to freeze into ice in what is known as an amorphous state. Rather than the solid, crystalline structure of ordinary ice, amorphous ice is porous and dotted by pockets. Exposure to deep space would have a second effect on the ice, too, with cosmic radiation causing some of the H2 in the H2O molecules to break away. That H2 would collect in the pores of the amorphous ice, like fuel in tiny fuel tanks. When Oumuamua entered the inner solar system, it warmed up just enough for the ice to convert to its crystalline state, essentially closing the pockets and forcing the H2 out of the comet, providing the propulsive push that explained the acceleration. When the water matrix has enough energy, it rearranges to a more stable and more compact configuration, says Bergner. In the process, you lose those pores and the hydrogen can escape through the surface. So that answers the question, no alien spacecraft in the mix. Theories and mysteries of the interstellar visitor. What exactly Oumuamua was is a matter of conjecture. When the gravitational waves of roving gas giants wrenched Oumuamua out of her orbit, we knew it was an object ejected from a planetary system outside of our solar system. It was believed by astronomers, before the discovery of 2I slash Borisov, that interstellar objects like comets would resemble comets. For a long time, astronomers assumed that Oumuamua was just a dead comet, whose volatiles or gases with low boiling points like water evaporated over billions of years, either while it was still in its original system or while it was close to other stars, since it didn't produce a cometary tail. On the other hand, Oumuamua's non-gravitational acceleration was detected by the Hubble Space Telescope as it departed from the Sun. Since comets often emit water vapor and dust in a tail, which provides them with an additional boost, this is a normal occurrence for comets. There was no indication that Oumuamua was releasing water or any of the other volatile substances that are typically seen on comets. Oumuamua could be either of two things according to the most popular theories. Oumuamua is a lump of nitrogen ice, according to one theory put forth by Arizona State University's Alan Jackson and Steve Desch. Oumuamua might be a piece of nitrogen ice that a massive impact blew off of a Pluto-like body, according to Jackson and Desch, 
who proposed the theory after New Horizons detected regions such as Sputnik Planum that were frozen nitrogen lakes in 2015. Oumuamua would have had the additional boost it needed if the nitrogen outgassing had been melted by the sun's heat. Because nitrogen gives comets a more reflecting albedo of 0.64, Oumuamua would have had to be smaller than originally anticipated to have seemed so pale. According to the calculations done by Jackson and Desch, the dimensions of Oumuamua would be a mere 148 by 144 by 25 feet if it were constructed from nitrogen ice. Cosmic rays may have reacted with surface ice while Oumuamua was in interstellar space, freeing hydrogen from some water molecules and creating a supply of hydrogen gas trapped in amorphous water ice, according to another theory put forth by Cornell University's Daryl Seligman and Berkeley University's Jennifer Bergner. Seligman and Bergner postulated that while Oumuamua went by the sun, the interstellar object was warmed but not sufficiently to evaporate its water ice. Instead, the hydrogen was able to escape at a rate of 0.4 to 28 grams per second because the heating altered the crystal structure of the ice, which is what gave Oumuamua the apparent push. This would also clarify why Oumuamua didn't appear to have a dust tail. The dust would have remained trapped in the water ice. Astronomers must rely on its brightness, as well as their understanding of the reflectivity of asteroids and comets, to make size estimations. Since astronomers have not yet seen a coma or tail surrounding Oumuamua, and Loeb and Bialy do not believe the comet scenario is valid, outgassing would have altered Oumuamua's rotation period, an effect that would have been easy to identify, Loeb said, but we haven't seen such a change. He also mentioned another potential natural explanation. The apparent movement could be due to the kick that caused Oumuamua to break free from its parent object. If that is the case, contrarily, Oumuamua has demonstrated repeated non-gravitational acceleration, according to Loeb. So, this kick wouldn't be permanent. As a result, Bialy and Loeb proposed a novel theory. Sunlight could be to blame. The latest analysis found that Oumuamua is only 0.3 to 0.9 millimeters thick. The observed non-gravitational movement could be caused by solar radiation pressure. How could a structure be so delicately thin? One such option was proposed by Bialy and Loeb, a light sail that uses the kinetic energy of photons to propel itself. This technology has already been demonstrated in orbit. In 2010, the Japanese Icarus probe made it to the neighborhood of Venus. In 2011, the NanoSail D2 spacecraft from NASA circled the Earth, and in 2015, the light sail craft from the Planetary Society did the same. But their primary goal was to test sail deployment. A light sail Oumuamua could likely survive a long interstellar trip. Pursuing Oumuamua What could we do if the Oumuamua space probe returns? Is it time to build a Karelian shipyard? If we're to assume that something extraordinary occurred, which is quite the leap in and of itself, it's worth speculating on what we should do if the asteroid space probe comes around again. To construct spacecraft capable of pursuing the probe, humanity must gain a deeper comprehension of the nature and manipulation of dark energy in the cosmos. One suggestion is to send a craft after the asteroid probe. The challenge is formidable. Oumuamua has a hyperbolic excess velocity of 5.5 AU per year. It will be beyond Saturn's orbit within two years. This is much faster than any object humanity has ever launched into space. Therefore, what kind of vessel would it have to be? How far from the realm of realistic physical theory does our endeavor extend? Do we board the ship in space? Or do we use fuel to leave the gravity of Earth and then get ready to travel through space? And what should be the method by which we travel through space? Solar sails? A wormhole? The concept of wormholes is fraught with three issues. First, they always seem to collapse just before someone tries to pass through them. Second, wormholes link other universes, not just faraway corners of our own. And third, we have no idea how to construct one. To cultivate a launch pad in the asteroid belt's periphery, as Freeman Dyson had previously suggested, a ride to Alo, or to put it another way, an Alo drive, would make you feel like you're riding a moving conveyor belt through an airport. A device known as a warp bubble might do this. 
The warp bubble occurs when the imaginary space behind you on the airport conveyor grows, propelling you ahead, and the imaginary area in front of you decreases, drawing you closer. Space-time is flat within and outside the bubble, but it takes on a curved shape around its periphery, giving the illusion of a squeezed bubble. The fact that a warp bubble needs negative mass is just one of many reasons why nobody knows how to construct a warp engine to propel a spaceship. The size of an automobile, you would have to create an object with the mass of Jupiter. While the generation of negative mass is happening somewhere in the cosmos, how exactly humans may tap into this untapped potential is still a mystery. Ever since then, the interstellar visitor has been heading out of the solar system, with NASA describing how Oumuamua was accelerated by a gravity assist from the Sun to a velocity of 54.2 miles per second. Given how small Oumuamua is, and how fast it was moving away from us, the window for observing it was just a few weeks, with the Hubble Space Telescope able to track it the longest. Oumuamua is heading toward the constellation Pegasus and is now far beyond the orbit of Neptune. It is passing through the Kuiper Belt, a ring of icy bodies near the edge of the solar system, and is now beyond the reach of our telescopes. It will never come back to Earth. Thanks for watching. Check out another interesting video by clicking on the link appearing on your screen right now. See you on the other side.